Hi, I'm Diana from Tune Inner Harmony, and this is your Touched by an Angel daily reading. Thank you for joining me today. If you are returning, I appreciate your support. If you are new to my channel, thank you. You have been guided here today because there is a message here for you. It may be an answer to a question you put out into the universe or something that will guide you along the way. So with that, let's uh, get started and see what's in the cards today and what the angels would like you to know. We will start with all of our angel oracle cards and then we will have our advice cards and our self-care and well-being cards. Any guidance uh, that the angels would like to share with you will be will be added at the end, okay? So with that, let's begin. Okay, so we will start with our Archangel Michael today. Actually, yeah, we will start with Archangel Michael and see what the um, message is from Archangel Michael. So, first of all, I'm just going to give this a little cleanse to cleanse our space. So I call in the angels, archangels, spirit, teams of light, ancestors, ascended masters, the angelic beings of love and light that will help me deliver the clear message to whoever has been guided here to this message today. Please allow me to be the vessel to deliver this message to whoever needs to hear it. Thank you, spirit and guides love and light. So first of all what we'll do they've been shuffled already but I, I want to make sure that you see me shuffle them and, um, and get your energy along with that okay. So before I do this I take a moment and I ask for any uh, channeled messages or anything to come through at the time of the reading. So if you hear me express something um, throughout the readings. It is channeled messages that's coming through. Okay, so with that, let's just cut the cards and get started. Okay, Archangel Michael, <laughs> do you have any other messages for our beautiful souls that are here today? Archangel Michael, okay. So, I'm going to take the one on the bottom, okay. We have two cards out today. This one says, don't settle for less, number 10. And this one is, regain your focus. You are a child of the divine, and you deserve to have your dreams come true. Don't give up. Okay, so if you feel a little burdened right now, a little overwhelmed and confused, you know, and you feel like you're... You've been trying this, this same way to move past certain uh, obstacles in your life and you just feel like, oh my gosh, I don't want to do this anymore. Divine is telling you the end is near. Number 10 is a, the number of endings, okay? Endings of a cycle. It means you've overcome a certain cycle and obstacles in your life. You're coming to a, a greater awareness, a smoother, more calm, peaceful path, okay? So don't settle for less. Don't give up on your dreams and your what you want and know that you deserve to settle for something less than you know you are, okay? Because the burden seems so great right now or the struggles seem a little bit harder than usual. These are just ways that the universe is making sure that you are ready for all of this goodness that is coming into your life. You deserve the best. And you see the, the butterflies here? She's very surprised and excited because the treasure chest is here. I mean, there's unexpected treasures and blessings that you're about to be blessed with because you've reached the end of the cycle. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, like you just can't move forward, you can. 
reach out to spirit divine your angels and say I need your strength right now to help me get through this last obstacle I see the end is near and I see the light at the end of the tunnel so don't settle for less okay we also have regain your focus and this here 2 plus 7 in numerology is always brought down to a single digit okay and this single digit is 9 so 9 comes before 10 so this is completion so this is why you're finding it a little more challenging right now than you normally would because it's ending what's happening those obstacles in your life those changes this sudden overwhelming feeling like you really want something different in your life and you you know you seem to have tried so many different avenues and nothing seems to work well spirit is saying regain your focus and hang in there because the end is near okay this is the, the card of ending this is end is complete number 10 so trivial life matters will distract you from your goals Archangel Metatron and I are here to help you stay grounded. So Archangel Metatron is from your crown chakra, okay? He will omit this purple healing light. If you ask for Archangel Metatron's help, he will omit this purple, beautiful, beautiful healing light that'll flow, liquid light that'll flow through your body and give you the strength and the healing that you need. While Archangel Archangel Michael will omit this blue light of protection. Don't settle. You know, regain your focus. You're almost there. Okay? So don't let trivial matters distract you from your goals. Okay? Allow Archangel Metatron and Archangel Michael to come in and give you the strength and the healing, the vibration, the protection that you need to stay grounded. So that's a, the beautiful message of strength there, and you know that your end is in sight. Okay, the completion of this, this cycle that, that is really, really hard on a lot of, of the collective right now. It's, it's really pushing everyone, all of us, to make big changes in our life, to really reflect on the life that we have, and if we want to do that cycle again, can do, you know, do that over again, it would be so, so painful and so burdensome. So Divine is offering a way out of that, okay, a way to change those patterns, make different choices and experience life. You are here to f be fulfilled with all of desires and goals and dreams that's inside of you, not to be burdened with with the thoughts and the emotions and, and um, disappointments, okay? So regain your focus and get through this stage because this is an important stage. You're almost at the end stage here, okay? And don't settle for less. Don't settle for the life that you currently have if it's not making you happy. Make the changes you need to make. Make that conscious decision to choose different. And then all of your spirit family, angels divine will help you get to that and move you forward okay will open up the opportunities and the doorways to help you achieve that okay so we will move on now to we will do our angel cards but they're I love these they have a great vibration when I even when I hold them in my hands it's like I get this sensation right through my body. So it is a really good vibration and all of the messages are, are very on point. Okay? So angels, what do you want our beautiful souls to know today? Who you've guided here to get this message today? What message do you have for them, angels? Thank you. So underneath we have trustworthy guidance. Again, the words are small and I have to zone in <laughs> with my glasses. <laughs> okay, so trustworthy guidance. 
Okay, you've received a wonderful idea and answers to your prayers. The idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it, knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and open to receive our support from anything that you need related to this idea. So what they're saying is those ideas that you're getting, okay, these new ideas or these thoughts that's coming in there that makes you feel excited and wants, you know, makes you feel motivated, act on that motivation and trust the guidance. Don't let your left brain kick in there and say, well, you know what, that makes no sense. You know, I don't need to do that. I don't want to do that. What does that mean for me? And, you know, that's what it will do. Your, your, the left brain will talk you out of it. It's your ego mind. They don't want you to move forward on those ideas. But Divine is saying in the angels that this is trustworthy guidance. This is directly from us. Okay? So you can trust this guidance. And we have a change in direction. Okay, so the change you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. So this is a change in direction. So the reasons you're feeling, you know, all out of alignment and a bit um, distraught right now and confused is because they are changing your direction. You've put it out into the universe that you don't want to, there's things in your life that you don't want to, to do this cycle over. You want to change, okay? And the divine is saying, we've heard you, okay? It's being manifested into your reality. So stay focused, the end is near. They are in the, in the background, it's being um, presented to you by the means of opportunities and, and ideas. And when you act on those, they will take you to another, to another, and they will open up doorways all over the place until you tell this path is made for you to reach whatever desired outcome you have imagined for yourself. So they are working with you, okay? This is a and you're being, the guidance that you're receiving is from the divine, from angels, okay? You are being divinely guided here. So that's a beautiful message. They want you to know that. Trust the guidance you're receiving and act on it, okay? So we will do our A Course in Miracles. Oracle, this is the cards from the channel of messages from Jesus. And see what Ascended Masters has for us today. What message do you have for our souls with you today? Jesus, what do you want them to know? What words of wisdom do you have for our beautiful souls? Thank you, Jesus. So the one that's here on the top, I do not perceive my own best interests. Which means sometimes what we want for ourselves is not always the best for us, okay? We see it, we think about it, and sometimes we limit ourselves into what we think so we don't always have our best interests at heart, but divine does, okay? Divine sees the whole picture and what we're actually capable of, and we are limitless. So when you surrender that and you trust in the process and you trust in divine timing and divinely orchestrated, right? Don't settle for less or your limited mind will think that you're only capable of having or doing, okay? So we have, I feel the love of God within me now. Your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek to find all the barriers within yourself that you have built against it. That's a beautiful message, and it is so true. We don't need to seek love. 
we are already love okay the only thing is in living in this this world and the limitless uh, nature and, and the conditioned beliefs we have built up walls and blocks against it so we need to find these barriers and release them okay and go back to our natural state of thinking and believing that's um, like left brain thinking we refer to it as heaven and hell okay so you when you think fear and you think disappointment and you think you want to give up and all of these other feelings that goes along with it the anxiety the, these is what we would call hell okay when you move to that right thinking that optimism and knowing that you're divinely protected and guided is this is how you're thinking then okay and you're thinking with love unconditional love because God is love and we have light and joy and peace abide in me you are as God created you not what you made of yourself whatever evil you may think you did you are as God created you whatever mistakes you made the truth about you is unchanged your sinlessness is guaranteed by God so God sees you as a pure divine being you are love in God's eyes. That's it. Okay? Light and joy and peace abide in me. God created you as love. Unchangeless, pure, divine. And that's what you are. And that's the message God would like you to know. Or Jesus would like you to know today. One of the same. Okay, so this is Cards of Surrender. Let's see what you need to surrender to the Divine, to the Angels, to help you move past it, okay? When you surrender, you give up the attachment to it, and you allow that help to come in and um, sort of the issues for you and the situation, give you the answers, guidance you need to get through certain stages of your life. What messages do we have? Thank you, Spirit. Let's see if there's anything. Okay. So on the bottom we have surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. So right now, the feelings you're having, they may be uh, enhanced more, brought to the surface more, because there's a lesson there that you want, that divine needs you to learn in order to move you to the new cycle, okay? So you don't repeat that anymore. So pay attention to the signs, pay attention to to the feelings that you're having, okay? There's always, and in your dreams as well, there's always guiding you to your soul's path and the lessons you need to learn in order to move past that and into your new cycle. So all of these emotions right now is, is trying to give you the message, okay, so that you can reflect and learn what's, what needs to be learned at this time in order to get you on the path, your soul's path. And we have surrender, outdated beliefs about yourself. Okay, Let go of limited ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. So again, it's, it's those limited beliefs about yourself that arises in us and, and causes so much fear, right? Thinking we are not worth any more than, you know, what we have right now. And I don't mean in the way of all material things. I mean spiritual too and our self-worth and our, you know, the feeling of deserving the goodness that taking care of yourself. 
You know, all of these wonderful feelings of worthiness that we don't, we hide, okay? We don't allow ourselves to feel because we're so engulfed in the feelings of blame and shame and all the other feelings, right? That won't allow us to feel deserving of these miracles, you know, and limits ourselves to thinking that we, we can't be this or we can't achieve that. The Vine wants you to surrender those outdated beliefs about yourself. You are able to do what any, whatever you want in this lifetime. You can achieve whatever you want, okay? You have everything you need within you, and the Divine is telling you that. And anything else that tells you that you can't be something, or you can't do something, or you're not enough, right, or you don't deserve it, is not true, okay? This is the evil one trying to keep you limited. So, like the card says, regain your focus and don't settle for less. Okay, you are love and you are light and there is, they are offering you, offering you a change in direction so you don't have to repeat those cycles anymore to recognize your power within you and how, how divinely powerful you are to, to create, to bring forth new ideas, to do whatever you want. And if that just means finding peace and happiness within your life within yourself, then that is what your calling is, right? There's no such thing as a small calling. You know, some people achieve great things, what we would consider great things. But you know, what I consider great things is when you find peace and love and you know who you are, you know that you're deserving of great things, and you know you're good to your family, and you know you're giving to others, and that giving heart comes with a pure heart, okay? There's no hidden agenda when you give to someone. You give with, a, with that love, that, that pure intent, right? And that means giving of your time or giving of your love, giving of your guidance, giving of your wisdom. You know, that's all service to God. That's service to our path here. Right? And that's not small. And that is, So there's no competition and there's no Everyone's got their different calling and everyone is unique. So the divine is, is, is aligning your path to, um, to bring forth every opportunity for you right now. Okay, so believe and have trust. Okay, in your trustworthy guidance. So I'm going to pick this one from our angels. This is our angel guide. I like those. Those are from Kyle Gray. He's really good with interpreting the messages, like numerology and, and numbers and, and angel numbers, you know, and messages from divine. So, yeah, I uh, have a lot of his, his material. So what does the angels want you to know today? Any more messages? Thank you. So on the bottom we have courage and bravery. So be brave, be bold. You have the courage to move forward. Okay? You have the courage to move forward. It says intuition and downloads. So right now, at this time, you are receiving the intuitive guidance, like the trustworthy guidance, okay? You are receiving the ideas. You are receiving the, the guidance that's going to take you to where you need to be, right? To end this cycle, okay? Knowing that you deserve what is coming to you, okay? All that goodness, keep focused, because it is, right now, you're getting the ideas coming through. Okay, so you may have headaches, you may have, uh, maybe really tired, uh, you may want to sleep more than usual. When you do, listen to your body. It's your body connecting with you. It's your body communicating. Take a nap. Or, um, you know, just rest for a while. Do some meditating or just sit, go into nature, sit in nature. But your downloads are coming through. Okay, they're coming through from the divine. 
into your awareness, into your, your third eye and your heart chakra. Okay? And that's going to bring you a lot of clarity. So I'm going to read the card on this one. Okay. Hearing high-pitched noises, seeing flickers of light, and having a sense that beings are visiting you in your sleep are all signs that you are receiving downloads from heaven. When you draw this card, your angels want you to know that the feelings you are having and the intuitive urges that you have been feeling are divinely inspired. If you feel that you've been having psychic insights into particular situations and have been wondering if you can trust them, this card is reassuring you that they are indeed correct. This is the time when you are able to see, hear, and feel beyond the human senses. Your intuition is becoming stronger and you are in touch with angels, guides, and other divine beings who are encouraging you, your growth and connection to the universe. You are a light worker. This means that you have the capacity to bring light to the earth through your presence and purpose. Even though you may feel sensitive and overwhelmed, know that your gifts are stronger now and your psychic muscles are moving. You are being encouraged to look beyond what your physical eyes are showing you. You may want to see what you pick up to plan ahead. If so, it's important to keep your mind and energy focused on the best possible outcome. Be aware of signs and symbols showing up at this time. Your angels are sending you an important message that will help move you forward in your life. Call upon them to help you connect deeply with the spiritual vision that is open up within you. So yeah, you're having downloads right now. So when you, like I said, when your body feels, you know, like you need a nap or you're really tired, or you need to sit by yourself, your, your high-pitched noises in your ears, you know, a flicker of light. All of these are signs that the Spirit is reaching out to you to help move you forward. You're having insights and downloads right now. And trust your guidance, okay? Really trust your guidance because this is changing you. And it's changing your direction into a light worker. You may be a master teacher. You may have something to do when it comes to giving your insight and wisdom to others, you know, it may be members of your family, it may be uh, people that you just, just meet randomly or send to you, right? You, you have something within you that's a gift to the world and it's being revealed to you at this time, okay? So stay present and, um, you know, really trust the guidance that you're getting, okay? So I'll leave that one there. Okay, so now we will do angels and ancestors. Let's see what the angels and ancestors have for you. Got the stick upside down. message do the angels and ancestors have for you today? Okay. On the bottom we have Hermit. Okay. So retreat and recharge is exactly what we were just saying. Right? With your downloads that's coming through, they want you to retreat and recharge. Okay. Rest. Because this is what's happening. You're getting the clarity you need. Okay, this is exactly what's happening right now to you. It's a big, it's a crucial part of your life right now. So, that's the Hermit. Okay, so, our other card we have is Enjoy Growth and Reap Rewards. What a beautiful card. So, as you can see, she's sitting around nature and there's a tree there. Okay, that's... Um, now producing fruit, or is that, yeah, that's fruit, it looks like an apple or, or a peach, whatever, but yeah, she's now reaping the rewards of the seeds that she has planted, and those seeds may be the good, the goodness that you've changed your way of thinking, you know, you, you're giving out, what you're giving out there is that positive vibration, that love, 
that care you're giving of yourself. And even though it may have been, it may have started a year ago, it may have started two years ago, it may have started two months ago. But now, the cycle is changing and you are reaping the rewards of that. Okay, what you put out into the universe is what you get back. Some call it karma. I just call it growth, right? What you put out there is what you get back. It's like a mirror. You know, what we send out, we get back. So this is what's happening. I'm going to read that card for you. Okay, enjoy growth and reap rewards. Reap what you have sown and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Grow and expand in all areas of your life. The lady known as the Empress is the traditional tarot, is representative of the goddess in her most fertile form. She is an abundant, bountiful, and creative being. She is closely connected to nature because nature is her child. She represents material energy and has more than enough love to give all who needs nurturing. Yet she is representation of the goddess Venus too, and yearns for the rich relationship with her counterpart, the Lord. In this card, she holds an apple. Its seeds form a perfect pentagram, which in paganism represents the five elements of earth. Fertility, growth, and abundance are all eminent when the lady arrives in your life. All the seeds you have planted are coming to life and there are plenty more rewards to come. In the material sense, this card represents financial security and comfort. It shows that there will be more than enough to go around. If you are making business deals or sitting intentions to create financial growth, this card indicates a considerable amount of monetary success. The lady can also usher in other forms of abundance, opportunities, marriage proposal, and even the birth of a child. She will help you respect nature and connect with its forces in order to have a genuinely supported journey through life. So this, yeah, this is like the Empress in the tarot deck, okay? The Rider weight tarot deck. We've got the Empress and she like she's a nurturer. She has everything that she could ever need or want in material, but it's not an arrogance. It's, it's, um, she's very grateful for what she has and shares it graciously and has enough for everyone. She takes care of herself and she also nurtures others. And she has, she's rewarded time and time again. So she'll, it's not like it's going away. She's, it's, it's like nature. You, you, you put in your seeds, you send out this, this, these good vibes and you get the same back and it continues to grow and nourish. So that is a, a beautiful card of abundance. So whatever you're doing there right now, don't doubt yourself, okay? You're going through this, this last bit of, of, um, of energy right now. It's really heavy because we're going through the retrogrades and all of the different, this is a really big month, August month for all the changes in the cycles, okay? The moon cycles, we've got two super moons, we have retrogrades and Mercury and Venus. So yeah, it's showing up for you in a really positive way. And so take your time to meditate, take your time to enjoy the nature and just send out those good positive vibes, laugh and enjoy. You know, put all of those troubles and burdens aside for a while right? and allow the goodness to guide you. So I'm going to pick, these are the Archangel cards. Let's see what the Archangels have for you. I have an Archangel Michael and then I have one with all the Archangels, okay, uh, which represents the four elements. Big dick, as you can tell. Okay. What does the Archangels have for us today? Okay. Anything else? The Archangels, they came out really fast. So on the bottom we have the Five of Gabriel. Okay which is the Five of Wands. 
so a challenge can be resolved. Withdraw from any drama of others and have patience with yourself and those around you. Okay, so again, this comes down to you taking that time for yourself. Move away from drama, move away from all of these overwhelming emotions right now and allow those downloads to come through, okay, to help you through this, this really um, strong energy right now. Because when this passes, if, if you can bear with it and stay strong and focus through this, when you come out of this, it's like a fog. You're walking through the fog right now. And when you pass through that fog, you're going to get such an immense clarity, you know, and you're going to step into the Empress. This, you're going to step into the Empress energy. And your life is going to look so much different. Okay, so you have the Page of Ariel. which is reliable, clever, educated, and balanced. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you, scholarships or a pursuit of education. Time to get to work. And we have the lovers. Beautiful. Archangel Raphael. Make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments. The power of love. Now this could be a relationship, a new relationship, because six uh, represents balance, okay? Balance in your relationships and maybe relationships in your life, your current situation with someone, or maybe a new love coming into your life, or it, to me, it also represents choosing you, okay? The love that you have for yourself, okay? So I'm going to read those two as well. I'll start with the page of Ariel. Okay. So the page of Ariel. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Educational interests should be pursued and scholarships are likely. Ad advice that you can count on and solid solutions to your concerns will be offered. Again, trustworthy guidance. You may adopt a new interest or passion. It's time to get to work. A youth who loves to learn and enjoy academic challenges. Someone who is happy to be alive and can see endless possibilities. It's reliable, clever, insightful, and balanced. Getting more education or training is possible at this time or ending procrastination, okay? Pursuing new challenges. There may be something that you want to do, okay, that you've been putting off. Or thinking about doing and maybe taking a course or um, you know just reading a new book whatever it is it's got insight in there for you and they're encouraging you now is the time to do it okay it will help your growth take you to where they want you to be where it's for your highest good so next we have the lovers this card encourages you to follow your heart Deep felt emotions are likely to be experienced as a key relationship enters your life. This could be a romantic partner that leads to marriage or someone you feel very close to platonic connection with. Either way, it's an individual that you can trust completely and the relationship is likely to be life-changing in a very positive way. Archangel Raphael can help you manifest your soulmate relationship or deep friendship that you desire. This card can also indicate an extremely important choice that needs to be made. This decision should be made from the heart with absolute devotion to the outcome and without reservation. If there is any question in your mind as to how to proceed, then you must trust and take time to weigh the matter and choose carefully. Okay, the power of love, the need for careful deliberation, a fork in the road, maybe, it could be a recovery from a physical element. Archangel Raphael is the angel who watches over those who are seeking a soulmate. Whether the desired relationship is romantic, a close friend, or even career-based, or even with yourself, Archangel Raphael can help make the perfect connection. He is also known as the angel who protects our physical health. Call upon him when you need someone in your life 
Call upon him when you or someone you know isn't feeling well and needs healing. Put it out into the universe that you want someone to support you, okay? That you can love each other. You have a lot of love in you to give. And you want someone that's deserving of that love. Someone that values you for you, okay? And they want to send you that balance. So that's a strong message that your love, your soulmate is, they're looking for you the same as you are looking for them. So we will now do our okay, one of those, our crystal and our affirmation. This one showed up last week too. Oh no, this is the red jasper. Last week we had the chameleon, or, or yesterday. Um, okay, angels, what affirmation and crystal will help beautiful souls out there to reach their desired outcome and help them through any obstacles in their life right now? So, on the bottom we have the rose quartz. Okay, are you ready for a new relationship? Do you wish? to improve your current relationship. Begin by romancing yourself. You are worthy of a deep, fulfilling relationship. Love yourself as you wish to be loved. Cultivate your friendship and be open to romance. Okay. So it's the angel of loving relationships that goes along with the lover's card. I love myself and I enjoy my own company. I am grateful for my friends and other people of importance to me. I enjoy spending time with them. My heart is open. I encourage romance in my life. So yeah, you've got a you've got a soulmate out there that's looking for you, okay? And um, seeking you the same as you are seeking your soulmate. So there's an affirmation for loving relationships. You can take a screenshot of that. So we have two on the floor here. Just a second now. Or is it one? No, we have two. Have you been unable to focus on complex tasks? You are an intelligent being. You can lovingly accomplish whatever you put your mind to. Develop your inner genius. Educate yourself in areas you feel your knowledge may be lacking. Okay, so this goes along with with the, um, this one here as well. The page of Ariel that's asking you, telling you that there's excellent opportunities here for education, you know, for learning something new. So the affirmation for this is Angel of Intelligence. I am an intelligent being with the ability to focus on complex tasks and figure them out. I enjoy researching and learning new things. I am hungry to gain knowledge. I am smart enough to realize that I can always discover new information. Okay. We have the Ammonzite. Are you holding back something you need to say? The truth about certain matters needs to be spoken. Honesty is important at this time. Have the courage to speak up with grace. Loving words have the power to heal and improve a situation. Okay, so this is angel of truth and honesty you can call in to help you speak your truth. I live my truth and honestly communicate what is on my mind with ease. I effortlessly find the words to express truth and speak elegantly and lovingly. I surround myself with people who are not afraid to be honest and express themselves. And the last one we have is the orange cell site. Are you experiencing major changes that are challenging your emotional state? So again, see it's a change in direction. You're going through changes here. Big changes in your life. And uh, yeah, it's all the, the reading is all like coincides with with the messages here. 
Trust the process of change and honor your feelings. Take the time to balance energy. Pay attention, attention to the health of your nerves, bones, and muscles. Okay, the angel of change. I embrace the change occurring in my life. I recognize that all change bring better life situations. I am grateful that the energy flowing through me is in balance. I have a strong physical structure. All parts of my body feel good. So that's an affirmation there for the angel of change. So if you, you know, if we don't speak our truth and we don't accept things that's happening to us and we resist it, what happens is we start feeling this in our body, in our chakras, right? And we start finding the physical illness then, the aches and the pains in your bones and your muscles. So we need to, to, to speak our truth and we need to, to accept the changes that are coming and embrace them being a positive change. We don't necessarily have to fear those changes as if they're going to be a negative change, another obstacle. You know, embrace them as, as something that's going to change your life in the direction you want for yourself that brings those beautiful changes and that happiness that you desire. And that way you would embrace those changes instead of resist them and fear them, right? So we'll take our card of well-being. What advice do we have? Okay. So we've got two on the floor again. They seem to like one on the floor today. Actually, we've got three come out. And this is the one that's underneath. It says, inner power. Give me the courage and the power to do what must be done. And here's the courage of the lion, okay? And we are in Leo the lion season. So ask for courage, you know, boldness, bravery, you know, to you have that within you. So connect with your heart, right? Take that time to be with yourself, be in nature, and allow that to come through you, okay? You have the courage. You have what it takes to move forward, that courage. Call on it. And we have three more, so we have delusion. Intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion, okay? So what is saying to surrender without intention? So which means your, your intention is what you want for yourself, okay? When you clearly affirm what you want and you put it out into the universe, but if you're not sure about what you want and you're and you're asking the universe, you're asking God, spirits, angels, to bring you this change in your life, but you don't know what it is, you know, and you're not sure about letting go of something or what you want to see happen in the future. You have to be clear, with a clear intention of what you want. And then surrender it to the divine to bring forth that wish to you. Okay, but if you're unclear as to what you want, okay, so stay focused because those energies, what it will do, it will make you feel like you're confused and you don't know what you want for yourself, but your heart, go within, drop down to your heart and ask, what is it I really want? And it will come to you, okay? And then set that intention clearly in affirmations, like I've just, like those are affirmations. Okay? You speak them clearly using the present tense, tense, not I wish to be or I need to be or I want to be. Say, I am, as if it is happening this very moment. That is what we call affirmations. All right, so they're, they're telling you when you do make your affirmations, make them clearly with a clear intent of what you want and then surrender it. And surrender it means you're giving it to God. Okay, you're not focusing on it all the time. You just, you know it's done and you have trustworthy guidance that will help you move there and take action toward it. And you're leaving it in the hands of the angels and divine, okay? Self-love. Let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I long to take care of myself like never before. So again, this is referring to that, that self-love, that caring for yourself. When you nurture yourself, 
You, you have that self-worth. You know what you deserve. You have value for yourself. Love your inner child. Forgive anything that you have done in the past or anyone's done to you. Right? You owe it to yourself to let that go. You can't carry that forward and expect something new to come in because we don't make room for it then. We don't make room for new. We're so busy carrying the old. So do a favor to yourself. You know This releases this, those feelings in your body, right? in your energy field to make room for good. It has nothing to do, forgiveness has nothing to do with anybody else. It's all about making that room because you know you deserve better. Allowing yourself to have that goodness in your life. So treat yourself, nurture yourself like the Empress. The Empress, she nurtures herself first. She takes care of herself because she knows when she's taken care of and she's fulfilled, she has so much beautiful energy to give out to everybody else. But if she's overwhelmed or she's busy and she don't have time to take care of herself, she can't give her best to everybody else because she's not giving her best to herself. So take care of you. Do what you love and heal that inner child. Let go of the blame, the shame, and anything that's lingering in there from long ago because you can't take that with you. You need to let that go to to make room for the goodness and the changes that want to come into your life, that soulmate, right? And the divine flow. Eventually, one sublime desire takes precedence over all others to follow the toe, the divine flow, at all costs. Okay, so go with the flow of life and trust your guidance, okay? Welcome that change. See, everything is blooming, everything is colorful. What it is, it's a butterfly that's transforming. A butterfly, you are passing that cocoon stage, right? You're in night stage, that completion. And you're about to end that cycle and develop your wings, okay? Then you become the change you want to see in the world. Beautiful. So I'll take another self-care. This is a sacred self-care deck. These are all shuffled, so. What advice do we have? Thank you, spirit, angels. <laughs> okay, we've got a lot here today that keeps coming out when it comes to self-care, okay? So um, we've got connect with your ancestors. So that could be done through meditation, right? Retreat, take that time for your downloads, your intuition. It will guide you. Alright, because the ancestors right now has a lot of knowledge. There's this tree of life, okay? And this wants to flow up into you and give you the wisdom you need, okay? That clarity you need. So connect to your ancestors. They have the answers for you. They're trying to guide you right now. Okay, and we have alone time. Okay, so then flow like water. And this too is uh, 2 plus 4 is 6, so this is also a number of balance. So if, allow yourself to flow, okay, uh, like divine flow. Allow yourself to embrace the change and go with the flow. Surrender it, trust the guidance, and allow and trust what's happening to you that's going to bring you the outcome that you want. Okay, clean your space. And this is also number nine. Okay, so that may mean making space for the things to come into your life. That may be cleaning, just cleaning up your house and saging it, you know, clearing it out, open your windows, you know, clearing out some of the, the things you have lying around there that you don't need, you know, declutter your space. You know, give away those the clothes that doesn't fit you any longer or the little trinkets there that you have from past loves or past lives that, um, you know, your history there that didn't end up so great, but, you know, there was lessons to be learned there and you're grateful for them, but you don't need to hold on to those possessions, right? Because they hold energy and they hold all that energy of that, that current relationship or those situations. 
So go through some of that stuff and, and you know, give it away, you know, or, or sell it, whatever you need to do just to clear some space, you know, get rid of some clutter and, and cleanse your uh, area, okay? And a decluttered space is a decluttered mind. It will give you the clarity too, okay? So what we will do, so we're running a bit over the time that I'm, um, that I've logged out for, for the reading, but so I'm just going to go through, I'm just going to grab two more real quick. See, I clear my energy field, right? It's the same as this one, cleanse your space. So you may be feeling decluttered. You might have a lot of stuff around from your, from your past, okay? Maybe it's rings, maybe it's jewelry, maybe it's clothes, maybe it's a um, boyfriend, girlfriend's t-shirt, whatever it is. You know, it's time to release that. It's time to let that stuff go and make room for it. Maybe it's pictures on your phone or, you know, on your computer that you may need to let go of and cleanse some of that stuff and release it. Because if you release it, you make room for the new to come in. But if you're... You're stuffing your your whole world right now with, with things from the past. There's no way that there's any space left to allow those new things to come into your life. Like your lover and your, uh, you know, the self-love, the opportunities, the education, right? And the clarity that you need. So, and this one here says, I trust my in my gifts. So again, it's trustworthy guidance. So you trust your gifts. If you are getting into an intuition in which you are right now and you're getting the, the insight, that's your gifts that's enhancing inside of you. And they're going to be able to give you the clarity you need to move forward, to know which steps to take, right? And will give you the confidence you need and the determination to teach others. You know, to share that good energy around and allow that goodness to come into your life. So trust your gifts. Your gifts are carrying you where you need to go. To a happier, more fulfilling life. And this is the time of change. Okay? So this is a numerology card. When you see whichever number comes out here, this will be confirmation of this reading for you. Okay? And here's like 99. It just flipped. So this nine, like I said, nine is the number of completion. Things are being completed in your life. So hang in there, stay focused, and know that you are divinely guided. Insights are coming to you and downloads. And this is all going to seem clear to you very, very soon. So 88, which is the number of wealth, okay? 88 is the manifestation number. Um, and it says, you are on the cusp of of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievements, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life. I am wealthy. So this is an affirmation for you as well. And here we have, oh my goodness, I am awakening, one, 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 one. This is the number of miracles, okay? This shows that when you see this one, 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 you know, stand there boldly and say your affirmations out loud, okay? I am wealthy, I am wealthy, I am wealthy, you know, and, and give thanks for the blessings because right now this portal is it's like two pedestals on both sides. You're walking through them to this new realm and you're walking into that new life that you want. Send out those words with that vibration saying, I am wealthy, I am prosperous, I am worthy, I am deserving, and I claim it now. I claim my birthright. I am awakening. So the universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you wake up to who you really are. That is absolutely beautiful. So if you see 1111 or 88, it's confirmation of this beautiful reading today. And this is an absolute beautiful. The vibration right now from this reading is amazing. You are on your way to something absolutely wonderful. God bless you and I wish you well. All right. And thank you for, for sharing this space with me today. And the angels, thank you all, angels, ancestors, holy I am, Jesus, spirit, to present this reading for you today and give you the guidance that you need. 
God bless you all. Bye for now.